Ten years ago tomorrow, Comair Flight 5191 crashed near Bluegrass Airport after the plane's pilots tried to take off from the wrong runway. The 49 people you see right here lost their lives on August 27, 2006. Only the co pilot survived. And in the decades since that crash, changes have been made at Bluegrass Airport and elsewhere to prevent another runway mix up. Sean Moody has the story new at 6. One of the most visible changes you'll see out here at Bluegrass Airport since the crash is that those two runways no longer intersect. Now, it wasn't a direct result of the crash. It was already planned. But it's one thing the executive director of the airport says makes pilots and passengers safer. Bluegrass Airport Executive Director Eric Frankel was working in Toledo 10 years ago, but he remembers. I know exactly where I was. A lot's different now. On the morning of the crash, this is what the airport layout looked like. The main runway, 422, intersected with the shorter General Aviation Runway, 826. Comair 5191 lined up on the shorter runway instead of continuing across to line up on the longer runway. The visual cues just were missed. A flight instructor with Next Gen Aviation gave us a look at things today. The FAA now requires these markers painted on the taxiway just before you cross the runway, identifying which runway you're about to cross. Previously, there were signs off to the side of the taxiways. Those runways no longer intersect. There's one taxiway leading to that main runway, and you have to take another route to get to the shorter runway. So you can't accidentally you know, walk, taxi onto that runway anymore. This airport is not unlike several airports around the country that were built in World War II, and a lot of them have that same crossing two or three runways in the midfield, very common uh, back then, and, and Lexington was no different. The change had been in the works since before the crash, but that really put a spotlight on it. I think the industry had already begun to realize that there's a way to avoid confusion, and, and this airport was probably ahead of the curve from that perspective. Unfortunately, not head enough. Another change is that air traffic controllers must now give pilots a specific clearance to taxi across another runway to get to their intended runway. That way they're paying more attention. The history of aviation is dotted with horrible days like August 27, 2006. Each brings heartache for everyone involved. The hope is that each of those days can also teach lessons that will save lives down the road. In Lexington, Sean Moody, WKYT. And the FAA also found that Bluegrass Airport's tower did not have enough workers the morning of that crash. Only one air traffic controller was on duty that Sunday morning. Because the airport performs both approach, control, and tower functions, they were supposed to have two controllers. After the crash, the FAA formalized that policy. A memorial service for the 49 people killed on Flight 5191 will be held tomorrow morning at 10 at the UK Arboretum. It will be near the memorial sculpture, which honors each of those 49 victims. Barbara Bailey will join me for live coverage of tomorrow's service begin at 10 a.m. here on WKYT. You'll also be able to watch the service live online at WKYT.com.